Welcome to episode 8 of 100 African Americans Who Shaped American History. Samuel E. Cornish, 1795 to 1858. And John B. Rustworm, 1799 to 1851. John B. Rustworm and his business partner, Samuel E. Cornish, founded the first black newspaper in America in 1827. The Freedom Journal, the first record to emerge as a written chronicle of black America, was the prototype of other influential papers. For example, The Colored American was first printed in 1837, and The North Star, published by Frigless Douglas, was published in 1847. The Freedom Journal was the first paper to bring to light the details of lynchings to decimate abolitionist news and to keep readers informed of the social conditions in Africa. This reporting helped connect people in various African American communities. To clarify the intent of their publication, Russ Worm and Carnage proclaimed their goals in their first editorial. The publication of this journal and the expediency of its appearance at this time, when so many schemes are in action concerning our people, encourage us to come boldly before an enlightened public. For we believe that a paper devoted to the dissemination of useful knowledge among our brethren and their moral and religion improvement must meet with the cordial approbation of every friend of humanity. We wish to plead our own case. Too long have others spoken for us. Too long has the public been deceived by misrepresentations and things which concerns us dearly. Carnish and Rustworm live by the same ideals that inspired their readers. Working tirelessly for the rights of all Americans, they use their journal and their lives to hasten the abolition of slavery and educate great men and women linked throughout the world on issues of rights and freedoms within African and African American populations, their readers grew into a unified front that will eventually lead to freedom for all. Thank you guys for watching 100 African Americans Who Shaped American History. I hope you enjoyed episode eight, Samuel E. Cornish and John B. Rustworm, the first African Americans to own a newspaper. Please hit that like video, subscribe to the channel, and join me for more. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.